Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing video. I am super excited because today we'll be creating this amazing parallax tilt effect in Adobe XD. We will not be needing any other tool. We won't be needing any other tool. We can do it solely in Adobe XD using a very, very cool plugin. Before we get started, this Sunday, I am hosting a special UX and UI design demo class for my design school, Design Wings. So if you want to register for that amazing free class, then go ahead and register. There is a link in the description, register from there. Now the first step in the process is of course to set up an artboard. To do that, I'll click on A, and on the right, I have all these various options right here. You know what I will do? I will select this uh, 1280 by 800 artboard. You can select any other, but for my, for my case, I will select this. Now here, what we will be doing is creating that 3D gradient in the background. Now, of course, uh, we can't have a proper 3D gradient, but definitely we can make something which looks 3D. So I'll create a rectangle over this. And once I've done that, I'll go to this color palette here and under solid color, I'll click on the arrow and I'll say radial gradient. I'll put this middle circle at the top, just like this. And I'll stretch out the outer circle, which is the anchor point uh, somewhere here. To expand this even more, there's another circle or another anchor point on the left here. And I'm just gonna expand it like this. This looks really cool already. And I'm gonna adjust it so as to place it slightly outside the rectangle. Now, on the, as you can see on the left, I have two colors or two hex values in this case. We'll go back to this radial gradient and on the, f on the dark side, on the gray dark side, I'll click on this circle on the top right here and I will replace this hex value at the bottom with our new value. As you can see, it's already come in, coming into shape. I'll probably expand this a little more and that's about it. I'll then copy the one at the bottom and I will copy this and I'll go back to the radial gradient and I'll choose the first gradient, which is the light gradient here. And I'll select Command V or Control V to just copy it just like that. That looks already looks pretty, pretty good. And I'm happy with this. The next step is to create another rectangle. We What we will do is create a basic rectangle such as this. It doesn't have to have a very specific size, but make sure it is big enough to cover a decent amount of area. And another thing that I want to do is place it slightly above the center. So the center is somewhere right here. So this is probably the center. Uh, let me, yeah, this is the center. So I want that there is a certain amount of distance like this. So there's at least a good 200 pixel or 100 pixels above that. So now comes the fun part where we will be executing the animation. So if I click on this rectangle here, I want to go to the left, the bottom left, there is the plugin panel button right here. I'll click on this and as you can see, you can see all my plugins listed here. Now I have a special plugin called Anima, which will help us do this effect. If you don't have Anima, you can always click on this plus icon on the top. And from here in the search menu, you can probably search for Anima and that is about it. You will get it, just install it and come back to the tutorial. Now right here, if I click on this rectangle, I want to go to Anima, I'll click on Anima. And as you can see, a new window on the left appears here. That's awesome. Now, if you aren't logged in or signed up, it will ask you to sign up. You can quickly sign up and come back. For this, what I'll do is click on new project. And under new project, I'll say uh, Puneet Chavla 3D. Puneet Chavla 3D and I'll select a workspace. In, inside this, there is something called personal. I'll choose personal, that's fine. And I want to click on create now. Now that it is created, you will see the personal slash Puneet Chavla 3D on the left here. You can select that. After that, I want you to select the, make sure that the rectangle here is selected. And on the left, I have something called embed code. Now this is where the magic happens. I'll click on plus and inside this, everything, all these tabs are empty. So what I will do, I will go to a document that I have created here. This is a Google Doc. I will share the link in the description. All you need to do is follow along and copy as I tell you to. So the first step is go to JS here and just copy this script tag right here. Just copy it. You don't have to know code, just follow along. I'll go back to XD and inside this website tab here, make sure the website tab is selected. Inside that, I will click inside this 
text field, I will then say command V or control V to copy and paste that script tag right here. That's perfect. And I'll go ahead and say save. Now, once that is saved, go back to embed code again and make sure selected layer is selected. <laughs> now I will go to back to Firefox and I'll go back to the document here. I want to first place in the HTML. I'll copy this HTML, follow along guys. Just copy this HTML inside all these tags and go back to Adobe XD and inside selected layer, place it first. So this is the first placement. Now, of course, to explain to you guys, you can change this parallax text effect. Text can be changed. So I can type in anything. I can type in Puneet Chavla 3D here, you know, just, just for reference. So I can change this uh, text here, which was parallax before and I can change it to anything else. Everything else needs to remain the same. I'll go back to Firefox or whichever browser you use and I'll go down to CSS. Now it's super simple. I'll copy this entire code which is given here, all this CSS code till the bottom and I'll go back to Adobe XD. Inside this, right below this div tag, press enter once or twice. So under here, what I will do is say, say shift and press the comma button. That will create a angular bracket just like this for you. And I will type inside this style. Style basically defines that these are the styles given here. And just to close this, just to close this tag, all you will need to do is put another tag, just copy and paste this one at the bottom. And before style, just, just put this forward slash and then there should be style. So basically the same thing with a slash here. Inside these tags, just press here and then copy paste that code right here. Command V or control V to copy this CSS code right here. Perfect. Now, if you have followed along and if everything works fine, it should work for you as well. Just click on save and to preview this design, if I open this up in Adobe XD, it will just be a rectangle. So Adobe XD doesn't recognize it. So here there's something called preview inside browser. I'll click on preview in browser. It will say processing design. Once that is done, you will be able to see something like this on top. Again, it's white, but it will change inside the browser. I'll then click on open. And what this will do is open a new window in the browser for me. As you can see, the draft is ready here. And if I hover over this, looks absolutely stunning. And it actually gives it that 3D effect right here. And inside CSS, if you want to change the color of the gradient, what you do is go down. I will highlight this again. And you have to replace these lines of code. And I'll tell you how you can change these lines. I use a tool called cssgradient.io. And inside this, you can just edit these gradients as you wish or you can pick from all these colors that they have. And once that is done, you go down and you copy this code, which is the background and background radial gradient. All this code you copy and you replace this highlighted text right here with that code so that it follows your colors. All right, guys, thank you for watching this amazing video. If you liked it, then of course, give a huge thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't till now. And also click that bell icon that helps my channel grow. I post every Monday as well as Thursday. So I'll see you in the next video. God bless.